You won't tell now, but now I am fixing a problem which only you suffer from. It is the acne. <laughs> another week of john and daniel vlogs it's another sunny week and fleur's joining me in the morning is it masturbation time what have you done to your head the like oh it's just sparse <laughs> but i i did not it's no because no because you've got hair there that's what my hair. So, hair she's actually gonna get some treatment for the spots i don't know I, I don't think she's actually that bad but she's kind of like on a mission so when she goes to Albania, she's gonna come back non-spotty with the most amazing smile. No yeah. joke. Yeah, this is like. I mean, I already have an amazing smile, but. Well, you're just you know. amazing anyway, really. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the neighbour are just coming up with a cunning plan. We have a problem with parking at the moment, so people aren't really supposed to park here. It's for residents only. So that Audi is not supposed to be here. The Mini is not supposed to be there. And she's parking quite dangerously at the side of mine. This guy, we don't know who he is. This guy, we know who he is, so it's, that's fine. And that's my neighbor's BMW. And then obviously the, excuse me, that's my old car. So my friend Rosie is gonna bring her big car in and block this girl in with the Mini because she's really taking the piss, really taking the piss. Um, and I don't like her being so close to my car, absolutely not. She needs to ask, create a bit of a relationship, or whatever, anyway. So we're gonna shuffle all the cars around so nobody else can bark in here. So people get used to saying, look, I don't mind if people park here. I have no problem, as long as we know who they are. Because if they put their car somewhere that is gonna damage another car or whatever, that's a problem. You know, we can shuffle them around, go and fetch them from the shop or whatever. But at the moment, no. By the way, I've gotta go and get sunny because Sonny's coming to stay with it. Okay. Okay, let's go. Come on. Straight into the food. <laughs> Look at state of these. I actually built this box, so it's a bit knackered now. I mean, I need to fix it, but we bought these big trees. Not <laughs> big, I mean, they're like, stop growing now, because they're dead. To put in there, and I need to pull them out. But you see, every year it looks quite nice, but I think I'm gonna have to pull those trees. You see, I've got such a long list of things which I really need to do. But I suppose they can be pulled out quite easily, but what would I put in their place? That's the question. Just, I don't know if you're gonna, oh yeah. Oh my God, just pull out, and they are. You've got to come out, you know. Oh, God. It's not amazing, but I'm thinking, you know, maybe over the weekend, if I just, like, tidy it up and, you know, make it look okay, maybe I'll put some paint on it, you know? I don't know, maybe, should I? I could paint it black or red? I don't know. I'm going to ask Rosie, see if we've got any paint laying around and then just throw it on there. Hammer, you know, I could do with hammerite or something just <sighs> simple. Yeah, I get it's not keto. I haven't eaten anything yet today. So I don't know, it's just a lot. I, you know, I'm actually going to try to justify why I'm being fat cunt. <laughs> so I am not eating a lot during the day. I'm not, am I, Fleur? No, you're not. I, I'm really not. So I'm kind of, Kind of reducing my calories. This is Laurie. Laurie's done this, so I'm getting it from her. But you see, when I was on keto, which I can't still, I'm on keto. I'm not, you know, who am I kidding? You know, I'm just a fat guy. I'm always gonna be fat. I'll say that. It's true. Not the moment. Cleaning the pool is the worst job that you can do. It's like you can't get rid of the water properly. Fucking 
horrible. And I have nobody to help me. My dad, my dad can't help. My mom obviously can't help. The dog doesn't help. <laughs> so I'm on my own. But I've done it now and I'm just gonna clean it and refill it because I have five more days and it's very hot. Look, I'm sweating like a fucking pig. I just arrived at the city of St. Jim and it's very busy, but it's very nice climate here. Albanian tourism, so food was good when I ate it. Sometimes I have the thought that I shouldn't continue doing these vlogs. I mean, realistically, um, I mean, obviously, I don't get any money for doing it, and it takes a big chunk of time. But when I look back on the weeks, I haven't watched all the vlogs back, by the way, because I, I edit them, so it's, I mean, it's a lot to take in when I have to watch my face. This thing, like 12 times in one clip if you have to edit it, it's a lot to take in, traumatic. But then I'm thinking, shall I remove them? Oh, not remove them, shall I just like, stop doing them? Then I think, you know what, I've been doing this two and a half years or something like that, maybe three years ago, I don't know. How, nice is it to look back over the months, weeks, days and have a real video log of your whole life, not the whole life because I've recorded everything, but you know for the past few years it's, it is interesting and because I have a memory like a sieve, it is terrible, I can refer back to these vlogs and say that's the day I forgot to shake my willy and I had a stain on the jogging bottoms. Or oh, that's the day that I had an incredibly satisfactory, you thought I was gonna say poo, I was gonna say meal. See, you have no idea what my personality is like at all. Jack, I'm gonna go and lay down in bed. Come on, let's go and lay down and go stay there. Come on, come on. I'll stay there then. Dirty ginger bitch. Oh, oh pardon, je suis désolé. Oh. These smell better. For about four days I was getting so itchy and I was thinking, what is it? And it was these because we bought them such a long time ago. And you know, you don't wash, or I don't wash, cushion covers like you do like the pillows. But now I've washed them, I've stopped itching, how stupid. And this bedding's been on for over a week now, so it needs changing. I might do it tomorrow. I might do it tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. I hate this bathroom. You know, it's so small. I mean, but the thing is, Daniel and I were thinking about, well, not thinking, we actually started getting quotes to get it done. But, you know, I did all the tiles myself. That's why they're crap. The flooring I did myself, that's why it needs replacing now because it is, I, I put wooden flooring down, you know, um, um, laminate flooring and because all the water's come in, it's starting to, well, it got knackered up, now it's starting to smell. So I'm gonna have to do something about it. But then I'm thinking, you know, if I put tiles in here, I would really like to put tiles throughout the whole property because for me, Tiles are the best because I have a dog and we're planning on getting another one. I don't particularly want to, you know, you can put books down and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to speak to Daniel because I was, I was thinking, all right, so just hear me out, all right. So I was thinking, start in the bathroom with the tiles and then slowly move out, maybe do it myself. But this is the problem. If I'm gonna start tiling in the bathroom, maybe I should look at the bathroom and say, do I need to replace the system? Do I need to replace a bath, a sink? And then if I do, then I have to towel around them. So I'd have to do that first. What a palaver. 
normal people, when they have a spot, Stop. they kind of like get rid of it or let it go naturally. No. I do though. Not Miss Fleur. Touched. She's like, I haven't touched it. I'm going to go to the shop and buy potato. Potato. What the fuck? Yeah. So apparently, really good. so you insert the potato in your ass <laughs> and you let it sit for 24 hours. And apparently it sucks all the spot juice from your yeah. face into the potato. Yeah. You remove the potato after 24 hours, it, obviously it has spots. You plant it and then you grow an acne tree. What the fuck? Oh, it's Take, disgusting, an acne tree. You know what I mean? What, amazing. She's going to do that, she's actually going to, she's going to buy a potato to do a yeah. spot. And I said, because I've got an extraction, extraction tools, I've got like the proper equipment to do it. She said, no, no, <laughs> potato it is. You realize it's just the most weird thing I've yeah. seen. I've seen, oh my <laughs> God, Fleur. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't care. I just want this gone. In the most natural way possible. That's it. Looks like I had the surgery or something. It does, it looks like you've had a jaw implant and just yeah. on one side. So if you've ever considered a beauty regime, I mean, the best person to speak to is Fleur. Yes. Because she looks fucking amazing. It seriously looks like you've been like in, a, in an accident. <laughs> Voila. Oh my God. Imagine if I go, look, let's, let's do a bet. Okay. If I go like this to get food later. Mm -hmm. In the shop. Look what you can. <laughs> if you give me money, yeah. <laughs> we are gonna dig some potatoes off the ground. so hot that you can't stay indoors so I'm gonna be here all day until the sunset who else I'm trying to put this anti-fly on the door but it's just a bit longer than it should be so I have to cut them all one by one to measure and there are 100 of them this is the most boring job in the world but someone has to do it. It's gonna be me. This is the homemade rakia, which we've been drinking every day. And that is the extra virgin olive oil which is made by them. Everything in here except the chicken, it's homemade from the land. Mm -hmm. Potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, even the bay leaves are outside. Oh. So good. Oh, I've got to show you this, this is so funny. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. So I was asking her this morning, say can i get rid of it and she's like no 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 i'll and put I some try the potato, potatoes the natural stuff yeah you didn't do much you just soften it though at some point and he did it in one click like tuck, and that's it he was done so it's not i'm so used to doing extraction so I, I always have um needles because i was quite spotty as a kid and then from a really young age like 16 my cousin dawn showed me how to do extractions for milia and for spots to make sure that you don't have any kind of swelling or redness and it's the quickest way to get rid of them so i've always had a stock in anyway so i did it in like one second i've got i've got all the stuff like the alcohol pads and the plasters and what have you to get rid of everything listen i've got to tell you something do you want to hear about the drama i was talking with the neighbor yesterday about the cars. Okay, my neighbor, Nick's dog, right just there. And she's always been a bit funny. Um, 
Meaning that if you get too friendly with her, she's a demanding person and she kind of, I don't know how she does it. It's almost like she wants to vent what's inside her mind on you. Positive, but usually negative, and then implement you as well. It's very strange. So she did this a while ago. She accused me of smashing her tiles in her bedroom, okay, in her bathroom. This is true, Fleur. So you accused me of doing that. She said, oh, you put these things up. It's made a hole. It's cracked my tiles. You're gonna have to pay for it. 60 pounds to replace these two tiles. And I said, all I did was put two screws in the wall. It wouldn't affect your tiles or through the whole wall on the next wall. I said, they weren't even deep. It wasn't like deep. I'm talking about screws like that much. And these just hang the extract fan up. Wow. So eventually I gave her the money, 30 pounds. Yeah. yeah, I gave it and I gave her the whole thing. I said, why your walls, why your tires can crack? There are a thousand reasons. So I hate people who come up with these like presuppositions with no demonstrable evidence behind and ultimately destroy a friendship or a relationship with they have with somebody over this idea. This is this is what I'm a bit weird about beliefs because I don't like to jump to conclusions. It's not fair on people and what you believe seriously impacts everything around you and it can hurt you and other people. And so I thought I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm talking about the cars yesterday. We kind of were speaking together anyway. Became a little bit friendly. I did something outside as you saw with the flowers because initially we started doing the flowers together, okay? And I built the box with her. I built it because she kind of supervised. This woman is 72, very fit, lovely lady. Yeah, you know, I mean, on the outside kind of thing. But then today, the very day after, we have a communal shed where we keep our stuff. And in that communal shed, there was two pieces of, there was a bike and there was a lawnmower, which was actually from down there. And it blocked her little shed, which actually she has zero rights to, by the way. That's a different story. So I gave her a key for the shed so she can get inside. And she has one of those sheds. And she went, she started sending me a text message. Who's this stuff? I said, it's Dharma. She put it in there. I'm going to take everything out and put it on the street. I just went, do it. So I message saying, do it. Because I was thinking, oh, why on earth would you start spouting up all your negative energy on somebody you're just trying to make amends with, generally trying to be friends with her again, benefit a doubt. And she does this. Anyway, she came outside. I was in the garden with Sunny. She came outside, did not look at me. Did not look at me at all. And I thought, why didn't you look at me? I didn't say anything to her, but I really wanted to, you know? Went over to where I tidied up the basket yesterday. She pulled out the trees which were in the bin. Where am I supposed to put them? So the bitch actually did that. What a nasty piece of work. At 72 years old, she should know better to make sure that her friends her neighbours at that age are on her side. She doesn't have a husband, she doesn't have kids, she doesn't have nephews and nieces who are local as well. She needs to make sure she's just not a bitch. I'm not asking you to be nice, I'm just asking you not to be a bitch. Um, Marie, my name is Fleur. I am very happy to be here on Dragon's Den and I have a very specific um, solution to one of the main problems. Okay, you won't tell now, but now I am fixing a problem which all ladies suffer from. It is the acne. Okay, you cannot tell, but under my beautiful blonde hair, there is something reacting with my skin now to be friend. Any problem? Hola. We've done for the week now. Well, well, we've done the week and now we've got a few more days off to do whatever. And I think we're both gonna do a bit of DIY. I'm gonna tart the house up for Daniel. Fleur's gonna tart her house up for nobody because she's alone. <laughs> Just you and your pussy and that's yeah. it. You know? Me, I'm really complete. Okay, forget your pussy. Oh God, I got your spot. Oh my God. I got a spot. <laughs> Bye. Uh, ooh. Okay, and go, 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 go. Ah, uh, you want this, you want this, you want this. Come on. Oh. Let me just...
All I've said, I just went round to your house and buzzed the bell and you weren't there. I'm like, no, no. Wenger. <laughs> what was this? No. Selfish cunt. Maybe he doesn't want to open the door. Yeah, that's it. It was like, you know, if, yeah, if you, if you, that's it. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? Looking for a ball. Which ball? There is one ball. He's just looking for any ball. Ah. But if we lose during the day, then we just pick up from there. Oh, the I see. Yeah. That's, okay. Other dogs already, Olaf. It's fine. Oh, uh, we just finished the potato picking. It's like, oh my god, it's like a. Uh, a little line like four or five meters, it gives you a case of potatoes. Five meters gives you a case of potatoes. Lovely white, yellow potato. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Sorry, do you want to just stay? I just went into the freezer because I'm going to go out tomorrow morning with Dalma. I found some prawns, so I defrosted the prawns and I put some mayonnaise on it and salt and pepper and some lemon juice. I ate the whole bowl, I mean, it was a huge bowl of prawns. Now I feel sick. But on top of that, I was like, what's some ice cream? Didn't have any ice cream. Excuse me, blocked my mouth. And, um, I found some cream, which I have for my coffee, and some blueberries, which were frozen. So I mixed them together in this little multi-mixed ninja bullet thing. And then put it in the freezer. And it wasn't very nice. I really don't know how to make ice cream. But I just thought, you know, it's kind of like iced cream, isn't it? I mean, it tasted okay, but maybe I should have blended it longer. <sighs> but, yeah, it was horrible. Good night. We haven't been for such a long time, so this morning we're gonna jump over to Aldi. I wanna make sure that we've got plenty of food in. The fridge is a bit dirty, meaning you just need to clean the shelves and everything. And um, get food for Daniel and myself. But I've been eating quite cheap, you know? I've just been eating, I have been eating carbs, admittedly, but it's a lot cheaper. And I don't know what to do now, whether I should start counting my calories or what. No, you can stay there, bitch. She doesn't want any food. She's too fat. Oh, it's Klaus. Sorry. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's go and get some Aldi food. Yummy, 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 yummy foodies in my tummy. Got your bags. Got your pound. Oh. Pound. Got your mask. Got your vagina. Yeah, everything's on and right. <laughs> It doesn't look that busy, which is brilliant. And Dama's happy because she wants to look around. We haven't been for such a long time that it might have some different bits and bobs in. I actually don't want to get too much. I say that every time. I say it every time. I, 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 just get I bet you will sell at least one of the I think that her shopping is going to be more than mine today. It's funny because I'm by myself, and then I feel like I'm shopping by myself and a little bit more. Yeah, because my meat's quite expensive. And she spent £109, I spent 180 How can I do that? And I've got no alcohol. No alcohol. I'm buying the wrong things. I think, I don't know what it is though. <laughs> well, this time I bought some stuff that I don't usually buy. I bought like frozen vegetables, uh, frozen um, fruits. Because I wanted to try and make some smoothies. It's really nice. I, I bought food for that. Uh, I don't have any. I, I did used to have it from Tesco. So I bought some, anyway, it, like, it's food, it's going to get eaten, it's not going to go to waste. But I did buy some like packets of stuff which I never usually buy. I was just thinking, in hindsight, I should have arranged to go to the caravan, but I've got so much to do. And like the house is a mess, I mean, I want to do it nice for Daniel, you know, at least make it better than ever. 
but you're going to make a barbecue maybe later. I know I'm invited, and I think it should go. It's a bit because usually I'm like, you just want to go to bed, want to lay down, or watch a movie. It's nothing special. You just put maybe just and on the small tray. You don't put the whole yeah. barbecue. Yeah, yeah, just a, just a little bit. Yeah, to break up because I was just, I was just like there looking at this amazing weather, thinking we could have. Because I was thinking we could have gone out for the day to the caravan, mm. but. All us on a trail shift somewhere, so that wouldn't have worked out really. Next time. Yeah. We have just arrived and it's very nice and peaceful, but my mother was praying the whole time because of the road. The Dali. I've eaten so much that I am really full. I think I'm getting fat again. <laughs> I need to go back because the second course is coming and it's only meat. Meat. That's 57 pounds. This is only in Albania. They blocked the road and then now we have to wait for them to unblock it. Much bother. Alexa, bedroom on. Mm. I went to bed. Um, you know, after I put the food away, it was like Saturday night, Saturday day snooze. And um, because somebody doing a barbecue downstairs, so they buzzed and I kind of ignored it. And then I need bed for another 20 minutes. Not my face. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go downstairs. After I've had a wash. Oh yeah, now you stop, bitch. It's, it's raining. It's perfect weather for the barbecue. It is perfect weather. No, you can't eat. That one's not allowed to eat because that one's, that one's too fat. <laughs> Doggy style ice cream. Oh, it's fish. <laughs> it was ice cream. <laughs> Sunny, yours. Jack, yours. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Sunny's gonna eat it first, of course. Because he's not licking it, he's eating it at all. Sunny, See? you have to lick it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny. Sunny, you have to enjoy your food. At least a little bit. You learn from the. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get more homemade than this. Just pulled out of the ground right now. Just gonna make some pasta for the kids. Maybe some carbonara, but I'm gonna add garlic, peppers, and onions, and just make it a bit different. Hopefully, they're gonna like it. The joy, the joy of power cats. The dogs are so tired after playing all day. 
almost in the garden. It's such nice food, but not too much of it. And I didn't drink. Well, actually, Olaf poured me a little bit of wine, but I think it was about half a glass or something like that. I am planning on getting up at some point tomorrow. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to be in Q I'm supposed to go to B&Q with Fleur tomorrow to pick up a few bits. She wants to get a lampshade and I want to get some wallpaper and a few plants. So I'm going to go to bed. Good night. I woke up so early today just to do one more day of the beach. It's very hot. I want to get a bit tan because I'm not very tan. Are you tired? No, no, he's <laughs> waiting. Don't worry. He wants to play. These dogs don't stop. I mean, if they're together, they're like chasing one another. They've slowed down now, which is good. They're on drugs, basically. I think, that, yeah, they're on some kind of dog speed. <laughs> Yeah, I would have a bit of um, ketamino, um, ketamino or something like this. Chase them around. Catch yeah, me. Why not? Catch me. He'd be laid on his, laid on his back or face first Let's eating go. the grass. Let's uh -huh. go. <laughs> Guess who had two bottles of wine last night? And did you feel a bit crap this morning, didn't you? During the night, I already had a headache. I insisted to take the paracetamol just when I wake <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling okay now. Oh, well, that is good. And the two you bottles is not proven. But, uh, but I just guess. Oh, because you never. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you never drink like that uh, ever. I've never seen you drink two bottles. I don't think you drank two bottles. I think if you drank two bottles, realistically, you'd be. Yeah, but you know, have to think Ill. that after that we arrived home from Aldi, I already opened one bottle and I had a glass. So almost from noon, I um, was <laughs> drinking it slowly, slowly, but... Okay, all right then, I see what you're saying. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you. How are you? Good, how uh, are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Another one. This one is done. Yeah. I've done it yesterday, the other part. Oh, it was? Yeah. Yeah. It was, definitely. How are you? Not too bad. This is the first time I've actually come out in public with my stick. I've got it on the wrong leg at the moment. But I think what I might do, I might actually grab that trolley and use the trolley to walk with. Yeah. We've got just about what I think we need to get, but I'm thinking about maybe getting some wallpaper for that chimney breast, because it's all knackered. But like, look, look at this. You know, like that color, for example, because those colors would, would they go? Blue. It's more of a green colour, I think. Do you want something with flowers on it, with motives? Or you want Not really. something just plain? I think plain I would think, go better. I think plain, but it's about getting the right colour for me. Come on, quick, hurry up. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> She's chosen these tiles for her bathroom and kitchen. And I think they're quite nice, apart from two towels in this one which are probably broken because she just dropped them do you think they can change it? no you haven't it was fine i'm joking <laughs> i promise i'm <laughs> so seven should be enough then. seven will be enough yeah okay that's great shall i take the rest of the stuff yes today? just take it all that's it. yeah so i'm done yeah okay, so we're taking this yeah yeah okay let's take this <laughs> why are you looking like that <laughs> We're leaving it. We decided we're not gonna get that. And she says, "I feel really guilty." I'm like, "Why?" So we use oh, Come on, they're so used to it. We're not gonna unpack everything for them. Yeah, it's just so hard. It's so heavy. I was already out of breath. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to collapse, especially. <laughs> This, look, £9.99, I mean, <coughs> it's, it's plain, it's going to do the job, isn't it? Do you think it's the same thickness as the other one? No, this is thinner, this is why it's cheaper. I think it's slightly different material. We can ask. 
Yeah, the prices are so different. Like nine ninety nine per square meter for the because she wants it for a kitchen, but it's thicker, isn't it? Nine ninety nine per square meter for this was just slightly thinner, and the one she's looking at on the things quite thick. Is it thirty six? Yeah. Thirty seven actually. Wow. Big difference. <sighs> she's got a carpet. I've got the copy for the bathroom. I was gonna get some grey tiles or grey tile linoleum, linoleum, but I didn't. I got white, well, kind of whitey ish colour and then Daniel's gonna probably say oh but I really want the grey but too like it's temporary I'm gonna put tiles all throughout the flat hopefully next year which will be brilliant oh, you, I save you, I save. you bitch that was so horrible <laughs> I was like I would never <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill him I'm gonna kill him he gets he just like took the trap I'm like oh my god somebody's stolen it because <laughs> oh, I should have known it was Olaf he like turned around and waved what an asshole I've never seen so many people on the beach. And this is my last day. And I'm gonna to try to enjoy. We've been here since nine o'clock in the morning. And we're gonna leave with milk. I'm coming. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. I've burned myself. I always start enjoying my holidays only at the end of them when it's time to go. I need to say goodbye to Albania and uh, we'll come back here next year maybe. But for now, bye bye beach and bye bye good food. And hello London. Okay, so this is the end of my holidays and I'm leaving Rana Hedon and I'm gonna come back next year. That is where it's gonna live. It's about a meter too short. So that's 20 quid just down the drain. I've got nowhere else I can possibly put it. However, the plant I bought was quite smart. Instead of having a like little um, tube that contains Daniel's trainers, it contains a beautiful plant. Ooh, are you okay, Jackie? Oh. I don't really like to admit it, but I do miss Daniel, and I, ha you know, it's been, it's been it's been nice while he's been away, but now I want him back. I miss his little chubby fat face, his big square head, and his butter belly. You know, laying on the sofa, drinking beer, farting, not coming to bed with me, arguing with me. <laughs> I need to go and get some more flooring. That grey flooring, I saw some beautiful grey, grey flooring, it's the same, exactly the same as what I've already got, but it had fit and it had looked better. So I'm gonna get some of that this week. But I've got to work tomorrow. Oh God, I've got to work tomorrow with Fleur and she does my head in. No, she doesn't. Thank goodness I have Fleur. I'll tell you something, when she goes in August, it's gonna be very difficult for me to kind of get on and do my things, to get motivated. Better get my beauty sleep. Good night such a miserable day today but at least i've got the beautiful and amazing spotty flirt to keep me company all day today has it gone show me oh, you, you could have worn makeup why are you got makeup on oh, today okay. she never wears because, makeup uh, you know sometimes i need to look good yeah, you know? but lesbians don't wear makeup i don't understand <laughs> hey little girl just woken up and uh I'm on the way to do my COVID tests because you have to do it like uh, within three days before. So today is my last day and I depart tomorrow. So I'm going to do it today. It costs like 65,000 lek, which is around 45 pounds. My estimation. I'm on the bus, one of those mini buses. Uh, stops everywhere that's how much my journey will cost a third of a pound yeah. just arrived on my street now just gonna go dip into the pool i have to say that 
definitely Albania is a third world country which has very good telecommunication um, very good cars and a corrupted shit government that doesn't give a shit about the people no roads no infrastructure anyway you understand it's horrible <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> Are you going to come poo? Let's go to the toilet. The little monster, he just can't wait to get inside. <laughs> Food and play. Okay, go. Okay. Cheeky. <laughs> so now we're going to have three dogs in the house because Rose is coming over. We're going to finish off our website because she has the most beautiful hat hire shop in the world. Hello, little one. Sorry, come on. That one's cool. Sorry. Yeah. Where is he? Come on, inside. Come on. Come on, inside. This little pony needs to go for a poo. Aww. Sad <laughs> 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 Oh my god, it's so hot. And I'm gonna sit on the chair and it is really hot in there. And I just need a bit more time because it's my last last day of doing anything important. We are actually thinking to sell a house because my mom and dad are getting old and they can't take care of the house and the land and the garden or whatever and they want to go in a, in, a, in an apartment in a city like they used to live before so I'm in dilemma because I don't want to sell it because I love it but what can I do you know I have to make everybody happy you know with the money that I will get if I sell a house, I'll be able to buy an, uh, an apartment in London and give some to my mum to get an apartment here and my brother. So we all get to be happy taking some money out of the fucking house. But it will change the dynamic of the family because everybody comes here when summer comes and just enjoy the holidays. So I don't know what to do. Little shit, that stupid Polish gate was wearing that blue t-shirt nearly eating with a ball. What an asshole. <laughs> I wasn't that far away. No, you weren't that far away. Are they trying to steal your ball? What are you gonna do? Okay, drop your ball. You ready? And go, go, go. <laughs> You've got to have the lead on the dogs in this cemetery. Because you get fined. Oh, you, just, you have to be careful about that. You know I've never been down here. I think, no, because I couldn't be bothered. Does he not chase the squirrels?
You'll be wet. This should be the last night I'm spending in the bed alone. But that's not true. This is gonna be the last night I'm spending in this flat alone at night because Daniel probably will sleep in the other room. Unless he's sleep, he'll probably sleep here for one night and then he'll be like, oh God, sleep, I've got to get in the other room because you're making too much noise. How annoying, but I'm looking forward to him coming back. And we can work on Wednesday for 10 days. So Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. But I'm feeling about doing something drastic and that is drastically reducing the prices for the stock. When I say drastically, I mean almost trade. That means that we're gonna be undercutting, oh my God, everybody by a huge amount. And look, who doesn't want a, an amazing bargain? And I think I'd rather sell, you know, a lot of products in a day for just a very low margin then selling a few products in a day. Look, I wish I was selling a few products in a day. At the moment, it's so slow. We've just opened this shop three months. We're not selling a lot. So I need to step up my game. Look, any ideas you've got, please put them in the comments because I need to be rich and famous. I just, I don't, I, I don't give a shit about that. But I just, I just want a successful business, mainly so that I can prove to myself that I'm not stupid and I can do this. <laughs> morning. It's not actually morning, it's afternoon, so I don't even know what I'm saying morning. Oh, I had a bad time. You're right, okay, I've made a decision. Okay. <laughs> decision in John's life. It is. I am going to introduce carbs and reduce the amount I eat. So I'm not gonna calorie count per se, but I'm not putting on weight, but I'm not losing it. So I, I know there's some things what you have to implement, but the problem is, is because I've been spending so much time in bed, I've started introducing a few, I'm not talking like eating bread like a monster. I'm talking just a few little bits here and there. I mean, I don't want to buy bread. I just don't want to do that. I don't want to have like um, sugar, that kind of shit. No sugar, for example, daffy and sugar, limited fruit, but I want pasta today. And it is actually giving me a little bit more energy, meaning, look, these are my multivitamins in the morning. So I take these multivitamins, it's like one, two, three, four, five different ones. C, D, three, D, um, um, what else have we got? Um, and then glucosamine sulfate, vitamin C, whatever. So, this is gonna, I don't know, I've been, more energetic of an evening and I think it's my I think it's, it's what I'm eating I know it is I just because my diet was crap but I'm not going to change it just shut up and cook your carbonara which I'm going to do uh, right now this is going to my take on the carbonara so I'm going to just like olive olive oil onions garlic salt and pepper you know the basic stuff but the twist is right okay instead of using pancetta I'm going to use bacon because I don't have any pancetta I'm going to use stripped Chicken, cream, egg white, and um, egg um, yolk. <sighs> and pasta. But I'm gonna make the sauce now, you know, I'm just getting prepped. Then I think I put the garlic in after I put a little bacon in. I'm basically just using that chicken that I had yesterday. I really want carbonara. Four rations of bacon. And I got some finely chopped garlic. Dump that in. That's what I was fantasizing about. I was fantasizing about mushrooms. Don't know why, I just got mushrooms. I can't remember if I'm mushrooms in carbonara. Well, put it this way, I do. Okay, that'll do. Now, it's not, I'm not gonna make too much. I mean, I'll make a little bit for Fleur to try, but maybe a little bit for Daniel as well, but it's mainly pasta, that's the thing. Remember, it's carbonara. It's not a sauce with a bit of pasta, which is how I used to make food, like all sauce, no pasta. And it's gonna be pasta with a little bit of sauce. Okay, this is the chicken. We've got some of that here. And then some breast in the bottom, what I cooked yesterday with thyme. I've got to say, how much chicken am I gonna put in here? I have quite a large chicken breast. I really didn't eat a lot yesterday. This is what I was saying to Fleur. It's like, even though I'm saying I'm on keto, I'm eating too much. And this was something which was brought to light to me by Laurie. And I'm thinking, this is what I need to curb. And obviously with my energy levels back. 
But I reckon if I just do this one chicken breast, that will be enough. And there's not a lot of sauce here. I've still got to, I've got to stop doing that. My biggest thing, or the stupidest thing which I've done, as I say, too much sauce for the pasta. Look, and there you go. Chicken breast, dunk that in. Then we can put our egg yolk in. Oops. I've turned the heat down on this, like number two, electric two. And then just move it around just for a couple of minutes. A touch of oregano and a touch of basil. We're gonna have to change gas and electric companies again. We paid for this really amazing page you go, but we did it so you do it through the app and it notifies you and says, okay, you're down, so you top up however much you want just by pressing top, so it's brilliant. And we did this because we don't want to have to have the bills, we wanna monitor what we're spending, and more importantly, um, it's just fun and like electronic and modern. And um, anyway, this company, Bulb, these guys, the communication level is so bad. So initially when we signed up with them, they made a huge mistake and we actually got credited for the knacker up which they did, meaning we lost 150 pounds. Don't ask. So they gave us the credit for this, um, plus 20 pound compensation, it's fine. And then now we just received a bill for gas for like 380 pounds and said, but when pay as you go? We were, another, we, were, we were with another top up page you go electronically before. And he said, oh yeah, but we couldn't connect. I said, well, why didn't you let me know or send an email or a text or anything? And he said, oh, I'm sorry for the communication. But the problem is, we'll recalculate the gas bill, I will pay it and I will never ever use them again. They are very, bad at communicating and it actually works out quite expensive this company so whatever promises they make not happy because they are not living up to anything sorry Bob feeling better at all but hopefully he will fight and just for him and for us just to be better and I do love my sisters because they always take care of me when I'm here and my mom always makes the best food ever and I always put weight on I guess I eat a lot when I'm here but Hopefully the quarantine rules will, you know, ease or stop and I will be able to just come for three, four days and just, you know, quick visit just to see how they're doing. Because they are getting old and they are, they are on their own. So I'm always thinking about them. But what can you do? I would not be able to live in this country. Sorry, I just can't live in this country. Not because it's it's just these people are so awkward. They don't mean to be awkward. They just are because that's how they are brought up. Check-in is all done, so I'm ready to. 
go. No, I need to wait for another two hours. I'm on a plane now and um, hopefully everything is going to be okay. are going hard. <laughs> Everybody around is really drunk because of the England, England game. Literally everybody is pissed everywhere. The eagle has landed. Ten hours later, I'm home. And I feel good about it. Everything went so good. I'm, I was so stressed at the beginning, but hey ho, it's done now for another year. Hopefully, maybe not. She loves me. Have you missed me? Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well, John says he doesn't drink, he doesn't one alcohol but there is a big ass rose in the fridge it needs to be drunk it's a bordeaux thank you john good night and see you in the morning thank you john <gasps> Right, another day, midweek, Wednesday, Daniel's back. He's gonna stay in bed for a few hours because he's tired, which is fine. And then we'll get up, have a meeting, and then I'll tell him that, because he said that he was gonna kind of do the early test so that he can go back to work early. I really want him to work with me. What? Tomato is cheaper Albanian tomato. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna chop it out and put some salt for you. Ooh la la, I love that. It'd be nice with it, with some goat's cheese. Yeah. Where's the goat cheese? Goat cheese in the fridge. A little bit of goat cheese on top and some salt and pepper would be really nice. Bon appétit, mademoiselle Fleur. Merci. Mm, yeah. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. It tastes, it does taste different. Of course. <laughs> so have you ever seen somebody on a staff meeting to cut the nails on the meeting? You know, only John does that. What well, we needs to be done, I'm doing it over a bucket. In the office. It's in the lounge as well as the office. I've done that anyway. Lovely, would you like a pedicure? Let's get the monster time. Hello, monster. <laughs> he's got better routine now, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay, I'll go inside, go get some food. John bought, bought for me last night as a welcome gift. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Hello, Sunny! Ready? For me, it's my bathroom. And I put this, which is. <laughs> what right is this, there. John? Look at that. All over the bath. And he hates the bath, so we're gonna chuck him in the bath. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it, it works, it works. 
That's amazing. Looks like completely not phased at all, is he? Oh, bollocks! Oh, no, this is, John! This is not for me, this is actually for the food, and I can't put it back in the fridge. Why would you put that on the fridge? I mean, uh, for the food, why would you put that on the uh, Because you only want it in a wine sauce. Okay. Oh, okay, that'll do. Well done. Thank you very much. Ooh la la. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> you can't eat it yet, the alcohol needs to burn off Daniel. Because it's like a combined effort of food. Well, because oh. you, you can't cook rice. You should, I can cook rice. I'm very good at rice, thank you. Ah, uh, whatever. Here, enjoy. Thank you very much. Okay, don't get too fat. I'm not. No, this is good. It's a good portion. It tastes really nice. What do you think? It tastes very nice, but the rice is cold. That's though. because you cleaned it with cold water, you dickhead. I don't clean the rice. I eat like it's you, sticky. Yeah, no, but I... Daniel, if you're gonna put water on it, make sure that it's cold, warm water, not cold. I didn't like it earlier, but now, oh, I kinda like it. <laughs> Daniel's sleeping. Oh my God, sorry, that was a bit of a drunk move. I'm sorry to be straight in your face. I'm quite drunk. I think I'm gonna try and sneak in bed so Daniel can get out of bed and let me sleep. I've gotta go after this. Well, I'm back to London now and this is the usual routine, you know. I'm in quarantine now, so it's just boring. Not many people come around anyway. And thank you for watching this week and I will see you next week on Thursday at 6.30. Good night.